The film Ah 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 is a brilliant, uh, inspiring, joyous celebration of so many things in Indian history and culture, and in particular its uh, resistance and overthrow of the British Empire, rise, revolt, roar. That's what RRR stands for, and, and it is a wonderful way to actually get curious about Indian culture, Indian history. There are enormous numbers of references to the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, two great Indian epics in this film, and there are also many references to the history of India and its long struggle against the British uh, occupation, the British rule. And the final, or well, without giving any spoilers, there is a, a long scene towards the end of the film where there is a wonderful song that um, celebrates the pride and independence of the new India, the post-1948 India, and uh, its connection to that long history, that long cultural tradition, and that long history of resistance, sometimes violent resistance. And in particular, there is a scene where eight figures from Indian history are sort of shown and celebrated and uh, I guess the largely Indian audience is is urged to take pride in what they have achieved and what uh, Indians, the connection people feel to them. And for a Western uh, viewer, uh, um, these characters are not familiar names. Where's Gandhi? We, you might ask, why isn't there an image of Gandhi there? But Gandhi is a controversial figure in uh, India a little bit uh, at the moment, partly because there is some recognition that without some of the efforts of uh, some of the violent resistance uh, Gandhi's non-violent resistance may not have succeeded. And so uh, I thought I'd do a video about who were these eight figures at the end of RRR because when I saw this scene, I was curious and I had no idea who these people really were. And although there's a brief sense of who they are you get from the film, it you don't really get, uh, it's quite quick and you don't really get a full view. So I'm just going to talk through who each of these eight people are as a bit of a uh, explanatory footnote to the wonderful film RRR. First up is Nataji Subhash Chandra Bose. Uh, uh, Nataji is actually like a title. Uh, it means respected leader in Hindi. So Subhas Chandra Bose was uh, from Bengal and a leader of the Indian National Army who actually sought help from the Axis powers, Japan, Germany, during World War II to fight the British. He, he was born in 1897, lived until 1945, where he died in that now controversial place, Taiwan. And uh, uh, he was prominent in the independent movement against British rule of India and led an uh, Indian national force against the Western powers during World War II. Although he was a contemporary of Gandhi, uh, sometimes allied, but often, oftentimes an adversary of uh, uh, Gandhi, and he was known for his militant approach to independence and his push for a more socialist approach to 
uh, India's future. The second figure is Sada Vallabhai Patel of Gujarat. Uh, and he was the first Minister of Home Affairs who was notable for unifying India uh, from a patchwork of British ruled presidencies and native proxy states. He was recognised as India's Iron Man who played a very significant role in shaping modern India. He was a lawyer, a devout Gandhian, a freedom fighter and a very rationalist person. Uh, He experienced many injustices in his life, but adopted a stoic, steadfast approach to all his missions, uh, exemplifying what is known as the virtues of Karma Yogi. Uh, and he was together with Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, part of really the key triumvirate uh, of independence in 1947. And I guess Nehru and Gandhi are frequently, I guess, mentioned in a Western historiography and, you know, films and all that sort of stuff Uh, uh, but this character I've never heard of before uh, and yet he's recognized by the Indian National Dictionary as part of that original triumvirate in 1947. The third character is Kituru Chenama of Kanatka, Karnataka, Kituru Chenama of Karnataka. Uh, and this uh, is, this figure is a woman, uh, and from the early 19th century, uh, she uh, was a Rani who fought the British East India Company and and actually enjoyed a military success. A a victory against British forces in 1824, which is marked as the first triumph of armed rebellion in modern India. She is uh, came from a place called Kittur and is revered for her exploits that placed the British uh, in a difficult position and uh, weaken their extent of consolidated rule at that time was part of the lead in to the growing resistance against India that ultimately inspired the first the first war of Indian independence in the 1850s in 1857 uh, still known in much British history or British popular culture as the Indian mutiny the fourth uh, character celebrated at the end of RRR is uh, V.O. V.O. Chidambaram Pillai of Tirunelveli from Tamil Nadu. Uh, and uh, apologies. And I should say, I'm not going to necessarily pronounce all these names perfectly, but I'm going to do my best. And I am documenting my learning around all this too because I openly think uh, I I acknowledge that I'm displaying how how a film like RRR can get you to learn a whole lot of new things about history including Indian history so V.O. Chidambaram Pillai of Tirunelveli uh, in Tamil Nadu uh, founded uh, the first indigenous Indian steam navigation company that challenged the British monopoly of the shipping industry and so expanded the range of uh, income generating wealth commercial opportunities for people of India, uh, locking out those British sort of oligarchs. VO uh, is a you know, an abbreviation of a longer name, Valayapan Olaganathan, and he lived 
between 1872 and 1936 and is also known as the Tamil Helmsman, uh, an Indian freedom fighter and former leader of the Indian National Congress. Uh, he founded this steam navigation company in 1906 and competed against the monopoly of the British uh, and began a shipping service between Sri Lanka and India uh, as well. Uh, and he's honoured today through na naming a number of the key ports in India after him. As a leader of the Indian National Congress, he not only had commercial conflicts with the British, but also political conflicts with the British, and the British government in India indeed charged him with sedition and sentenced him to life imprisonment, also revoking his licence to practice as a barrister. The fifth character is Bhagat Singh of Punjab, uh, and he was an Indian revolutionary who was actually uh, hanged by the British for the murder of a British official. He lived a quite short life, 1907 to 1931, uh, didn't get to his 24th birthday. Born in uh, Western Punjab, uh, now part of Pakistan, and died in Lahore also now part of Pakistan. And in 1928, he plotted with uh, various others to kill the police chief who had been responsible for the death of an Indian writer and politician, Lala Lajap Rai, during a protest march against some of the uh, repression in Britain. Bhagat Singh also... Uh, Plant or lobbed a bomb in the Central Legislative Assembly in Delhi to protest against other aspects of British rule, and so he was uh, hanged at the age of 23. The sixth character celebrated uh, in the film uh, is Tanguturi Prakasam of Andhra, uh, a lawyer and freedom fighter who later became the Prime Minister of the Madras Presidency in South India and Chief Minister of the Andhra State. He lived between 1872 and 1957 and was a jurist, a political leader, social reformer and anti-colonial nationalist. And he is known in uh, uh, Andhra State as the Lion of Andhra, Andhra Kasari. Indeed, uh, since 2014, Andhra Pradesh uh, has declared his birthday as a state holiday. The seventh uh, character is Pazhasi Raja of Kerala, the king of Kotayam. Pazhasi Raja was a warrior prince and de facto head of the kingdom of Kotayam also known as Kotiyote, in Malabar, India, between 1774 and 1805. He was born in 1753, uh, so somewhat longer lived, and he similarly fought the British East India Company. Uh, there was a long series of wars around this territory known as the Kotiot War between 1793 and 1806 and he very much uh, led the uh, violent resistance to the British in those fights and was known as Kerala Simham, Lion of Kerala. The eighth uh, and final character in the featured in this little historical segment from RRR is Chhatrapati Shibaji Maharaj of Maharashtra. Chhatrapati Shibaji Maharaj of Maharashtra was the emperor of the Maratha Empire 
uh, which ended the Mughal Empire and uh, established a Hindu monarch over much of India for several centuries. And indeed, the Maratha Empire became very central uh, to the resistance to the East India Company and, I guess, British rule and uh, at times really challenged that uh, rule. Um, the wars against the Marathas later in the 18th century were, and early 19th century were really fundamental. Uh, this person, who commonly goes by the name of Shabaji, uh, lived between 1630 and 1680 and he really founded the Maratha Empire uh, which was in Western India. He was considered one of the greatest warriors of his time and stories of his uh, fighting uh, are still told it seems in folklore indeed. The uh, uh, state of Maharashtra celebrates his birthday as a state holiday. He established a quite effective administrative system in his area and had also a strong military uh, and administrative setup. Uh, and he also was apparently quite an innovative military leader adopting tactics that use speed, geography and surprise to defeat his enemies. But he's also significant in this film uh, for celebrating the very long tradition of, I guess, uh, Indian resistance to foreign rule. So that's it. Eight people I had never heard of before watching this film. I'd heard of the Maratha Empire and a few things like that uh, but I did not know of these eight people and their stories of resistance of rising revolting and roaring so it's a wonderful way to get into the uh, film and to get into Indian history and I've also made a, a video about how the film uh, 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 represents a greater new assertiveness, a new soft power of India, not just in the cinema, but also on the world stage. So I will see you in the next video.